What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and today I'm going to be showing you this cool facade effect and how to achieve it in Revit. So I was thinking, can you create a peeled facade effect? And a quick uh, Google search result revealed this image and I thought, well, that looks cool. So why not create this cool uh, peeled facade effect? And I really like the brick because it looks like the brick layer is kind of peeling off. I think it looks really cool. So I thought, let's try to make that in Revit. So that's what this tutorial is going to be all about. Now, before I get into that, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each uh, week. I make multiple tutorials. And I also make some advanced courses in Revit. They have a lot of courses, actually, over 60 hours of content. And you can find my courses on my website, balkanarctic.com. I am going to leave the link in the description of this video, so just underneath the video. Video. And also there you can find a link to my Patreon. There I have some of my advanced uh, courses and also I have my Revit project files, so that can be interesting as well. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So I'm going to get started uh, just by going here to models, uh, going to new, and for the template, I'm going to go with my trusty old architectural template. Just select that, click OK, and there we go. Okay, so the first thing that I uh, want to do is to create the actual walls uh, for our building. Now, I'm just going to go here to the wall tool, and for the wall type, I'm going to select the 300 uh, millimeter generic wall type. And of course, it makes sense to add all of the wall layers for your actual building, but for this demonstration, uh, we're just going to be sticking f with one layer for this main wall. Okay, so uh, you just go here to your uh, rectangle tool, you place the, the wall just like that, and uh, we're pretty much uh, done. Uh, so now if I go into the 3D view, by default this is going to be set up to go up to 8 meters or 800 millimeters, as you can see here in the uh, properties panel, and that's uh, quite enough for this demonstration. Uh, also it makes sense to add a door here, so for that if I go to doors you'll notice that we only have this single flush small door, and that's not really a good door for an entrance in the building, so I'm just going to go here into load family, go to doors, uh, let's see, let's go with commercial, something that's nice, perhaps this, or let's see, uh, I guess this one was the best one. Okay, hit open, uh, let's load in the largest one, click OK, and then I'm just going to place it here in the uh, corner of the building, and there we go. Okay, so once we have this wall with a door and everything, now it's time to create our peeled facade. Now, something like this in Revit can uh, be created using the Massing Inside tab and using the Conceptual Mass. So what you want to do is first turn on the Show Mass. So if you turn this on, then you, be, you will be able to see the mass itself. And of course, that makes sense if you're going to be creating a, an in-place mass in Revit. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is go here to in place mass which will allow you to model a mass in place and here we can type in just a field facade there we go, and now we can create our uh, our peeled facade. So the first thing that I'm going to do is navigate here to the south uh, elevation here we can take a look at the building head-on, and uh, as you can see, we have this level 2, we have a level 1, and then up to the top, we don't really have any more levels. Now, that's okay, usually in projects you will have some levels, but in this case, because we don't, I'm going to go here to the reference plane tool and place one reference plane here on top, hit the escape key, and then place one more here, just a bit below it. Uh, perhaps we can go and place it at 2.4 me. oops... 2400 millimeters below that one. Okay, that works. Uh, now the bottom one I'm going to call the peel or let's call it the, let's just call it the bottom actually. There we go. And the top one, let's call it the top one. There we go. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to find a view that's going to uh, allow you to take a look at this building from the bottom up. So uh, that can be uh, maybe level one or the site plan. I, I usually work with site plans, uh, but you can pretty much do it in level one for this massing phase. And then what you want to do is you want to start creating that peel. So on the bottom, it's only going to be peeled here on the side. And then on the top, 
here in this corner we want to have an additional 45 degree peel. So what you want to do is go back into level 1, go to the, uh, to the arc tool, so the start and radius arc, you want to go uh, out here, maybe 2 meters out, away from the facade, make sure to align it with the uh, adjacent wall, and then go at the 45 degree angle up to this point, and then you can create that 90 degree angle. Switch to the regular line and go all the way to the other side, hit the escape key a couple of times, and we're done with that part. Now we can switch to the 3D view just to take a look at what we have, and uh, to make it a bit easier to, to basically create the other ones, what you want to do is just go here to uh, clipboard and then uh, you want to go here to copy to clipboard, go to paste, align to the same place, and then you can just, as you can see now, it's kind of doubled over, so we have two lines uh, over each other, and the new one, the second one, is selected. So you can just go here to the host, and instead of level 1, set it to level 2, and as you can see, that copied one, the second one, is now up here. Now you can go again at paste, align at the same place, and now switch it to the, uh, let's see, let's go to the bottom, which is this one over here. Uh, now we have that one, and finally let's go to paste, align to the same place, again it's going to overlap it, and then we just have to change the host up to the top level, there we go. Okay, uh, now uh, let's go to our site plan so we can see that top one, and then what you want to do is go to set work plane, and make sure to set it here by name uh, on that reference plane top, click OK. Then go to the arc tool and make sure that here it's set to draw on work plane. So it might be set here to draw on face, that's going to give you all sorts of problems, so make sure to go here to uh, draw on work plane, and then make sure that the work plane is the reference plane top. Next, you can go out here at 45, uh, let's see, so it should be from this side, yeah, so let's go 2400 millimeters out, so that's the offset that we had originally. Go at a 45 degree angle, or in this case it's a 135 degree angle, because it's, well, it's reverse, but anyways, just go like that and create that peel. Hit the escape key a couple of times, and now if we go back into our 3D view, it's going to look something like this. Now what you want to do is just go here to trim and extend to corner, select this arc, select this line, and now it's going to trim it like that. Okay, now finally to complete the shape, you want to select the bottom one, hold the control key, select the middle ones, and then the top one, and go to create form, and it's going to create something that looks like this. So as you can see, it looks really cool. So once we have this, uh, the whole uh, facade completed, it might make sense to create the opening for the door, uh, so you can do that simply by going to the rectangle tool. Now in this case, go to draw on face, and then you just want to create the door just like that, and then go to create form, as you can see it's going to create a form just like this, and kind of switch it to the other side, or let's see, maybe like that, select the back side just by uh, hitting the tab key, so when you hit the tab key it's going to toggle the selection, so you want to toggle it up to this, maybe extend that a little bit, and then you can select the whole thing just by hovering over one of the lines, hit the tab key, it's going to make the full selection, and then just change it here in the properties panel, the subcategory from form into, oops, from uh, solid into void, hit apply, and now if we just go here to cut geometry, select this, select this, okay, it's already cutting, so I think, yeah, we have the opening there, perfect. So now what you want to do is go with finish mass, and now our mass is completed, and it looks like this. Okay, so now finally we have to add some sort of a wall layer up on that mass, so for that we have to go to architecture, uh, go to wall, and then, uh, let's see, so what you want to do is go to one of these smaller walls, so here for example we have the 900 millimeter brick, Let's go into edit type, let's see what that's made out of. So it's only a brick, so that's perfect for our situation. So let's just click OK, apply, OK, and then you want to use the option to pick faces. So instead of using the align tools, you go to pick face, and then you can pick these faces. Oops, kind of overlapped it. 
there we go so we have our wall created uh, now in this case the wall and let me just see if I go into level one as you can see it's at the, at the wrong side so it's on the inside but it should be on the outside so you can just flip it like this same thing here flip it same thing with this one oops I guess it isn't flipping Okay, this one we should get rid of definitely. Let's see. So maybe go into level two. Okay, we can't see it here either. Okay, there we go. Well, we can see this one. Okay, it's flipping along the wrong edge. So let's go back here. Let's try this again. Let's delete these. Let's go back to that same wall, back to wall by face. Let's try from the other side. Nah, it's going to place it on the same side. Let's try like this. Okay, that's uh, a little bit annoying, but that's okay. So anyways, we have this full wall, but it's kind of on the inside and we don't want that. So uh, hopefully we can select the whole thing. So let's try that. Just like this, make a full selection and then uh, you want to remove stuff from that selection. So by, just by holding the shift key, as you can see, you can remove everything from selection that you don't want. So j you just leave this in and then you can go to level one and you can just use the arrow keys to move that out. And you can even use the move tool just like this to kind of align it to the proper place. There we go. And now it looks quite appropriate. So uh, let's go to masking and site and now we can uncheck show mass so it won't show that mass it's just going to uh, stay like this and that's exactly what we want and you can also uh, use the same wall and go into level one and go to architecture go to wall and then use the same wall and just go to the outside of this wall layer so uh, of course uh, the best option would be to uh, go to this layer itself create a new type and have that additional brick layer on the outside but if you're kind of short on time uh, what you can do is just set the location line for the finish face uh, interior and then use pick lines just like that, make sure that the line kind of goes to the outside. So that little dashed line goes to the outside. And we have something that looks like this, which is perfect. So now when we go into the 3D view, it's going to look like that. Also, I would like to select this generic wall and then adjust it by going into edit type, into structure, and then I like to just change this layer into something that's a bit uh, contrasty. So let's go with white. Oops, my caps lock on so there we go gypsum wallboard that's going to make it white hit apply okay there we go and then if you go into your level one uh, we can just create a cool camera view just like that we can go to the uh, full navigation wheel here to kind of look up a little bit and then you can maybe readjust this but there we go, we have our cool facade. We can turn on the shadows, uh, go to graphic display options, turn on the ambient shadows as well. It's going to look like this. And as you can see, this peeled facade looks really cool. So you can flip it to the other side and you can play around a little bit. You can create a cool uh, little rendering uh, by going here to view, uh, render, Let's try just a quick little draft rendering just to see what this would look like. Uh, but the cool thing is that we have that contrasting uh, brick on that white edge, which I think looks uh, really good. So there you go. That's how you create this cool peeled facade uh, effect in Revit. It's not that complicated. As you can see, the whole process is quite uh, quick, so uh, you can use it on some of your projects. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new and I hope it was fun and exciting. If you're interested in some advanced courses or even beginner courses, uh, if you want to take the extra time and effort into learning Revit the right way so you can complete comp complex projects on your own, uh, check out my website 
website balkanarctic.com it's going to be the first link in the description and uh, also the second link in the description will get you to my patreon where you can download all of my revit project files like this file for example i have many more over 400 files so far okay so that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial thank you for watching and have a nice day